Do you have more work for me? When my business flows as briskly as it has with your assistance, there will always be work for you. Because of the war and the toll it exacted on the Outer Rim, medical supplies are at a premium here on Telos and in neighboring star systems. Telos has received an allotment of medical supplies at least equal to those of more inhabitable planets. Which is surprising. Many of the goods, Colto, medpacks and more lie unutilized. These goods could be sold to planets where they need their need is great and their value is high. For this, I would like you to retrieve the supplies for the medical unit in residential or from the medical unit in residential 082 West. Okay. Why was it so quiet that time? The dark side points gained. So quiet. That was weird. Oh, it's a lab station. I think it is a lab station. Excuse me. It's good that Zerka's arrival has created new jobs on the station, but I can't say I'm happy about all the mercenaries they've hired. Well, it's the new jobs. Didn't you like new jobs? Oh. Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. Okay. I talked to you already. Medical supplies. There we go. Medical supplies. Just like that. This is you scared me. Oh. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, uh, me? What are you doing there? Don't play games with me. Now step towards me and keep your hands where I can see them. I'm going to place you under arrest and take you down to the TSF station for further questioning. Come with me peacefully and I won't need to cause you any harm. I'm leaving and you are not going to stop me. We'll see about that. We, why, we have seen about that already. Uh, couldn't kill you with a single hit. What a shame. Died in the medical station. Nobody saw that. You didn't see that. Didn't get dark side from that either. Which is a bit weird. So, entertainment module. This is a weird tone for, for missions. They're very much fetch quests. Very simple. They shouldn't be as simple. They should be like one big heist quest and just and do it and that's it. More memorable that way and it makes for a better game. Hey. Welcome back. I... I have the medical supplies. I, it would be a shame to let these supplies go to waste when the need for them is so much greater elsewhere, not to mention the shame of such an opportunity for profit passing by. Say no more, thief. It is bad enough that you derive all your profits from theft, but now you steal supplies to save lives. Seize your whining, Dendis. You call me a thief, but what I am is a person of the highest order. Victims of the war lay dying when the extra supplies of Telos could be used to save them. I, for one, am not so heartless to turn a blind eye and deaf ear to their plight. Of course, such noble work deserves noble rewards. Here, a thousand credits, and the knowledge that lives will be saved with these. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. Ignore my brother, he does not have the stomach for real business. Speaking of business, do you have any more work for me? Yes, actually, with all the goods that you have brought in, I'll be able to make a shipment when the next Zerka freighter comes in today. If you could, I would like you to escort me to the Zerka docking bay as an extra precaution. Uh, sure, when do you leave? Right now, if you like. I have everything ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go now. Then let's waste no time. Teleportations. That's what the game should have done before. About time you showed up, Saman. Get your things loaded. I'm already behind schedule. All right, it'll only take a moment. No need to get so worked up over it. You don't understand how it is with Zerka. When the process stops working like clockwork, questions get asked. And we don't want questions asked, do we? Yes, yes, I get the point. I could do this faster if you helped instead of standing there complaining. The faster we get this loaded, the faster we can get it out of here. Stop right there. You are all under arrest. And those goods will be taken as evidence. And you, we're curious about your involvement as well. This is ridiculous. The TSF cannot just barge in here as they Quit have. Quit your protestations, Samhan. We all know your little secret. 
The circumstances have changed. You will be coming with us. So what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, well, I will kill you. Um, no one's going to find you when I'm through with you. Whatever you say. Now, you'll be coming with us. Quick, Adelaide. We must take them out. We must. We must indeed. With my death field. Sounds just as bad as it, it sounds. I mean, it is also as bad as it is. As it sounds. But I'm very good at English today, don't worry. That was unfortunate. Oh, but that'll, that'll teach the TSF. We will see what lesson Lieutenant Grant takes from this. For now, it would be a good idea for us to leave here. I wanted my special things. While this is a setback to my operation, it will not cripple me. Only in dreams could we be so lucky. I will have to suspend my acquisition for a short while as this blows over. Unfortunately, that means I won't have any work for you for a while. I still expect to be paid for escorting you. Of course, what happened was not your fault and you saved my life and possibly my business. Here, this is as much as I can spare you in payment in light of what has happened. It is not much, but I can also offer you a discount on what I have for sale. I ask that you keep your visits scarce, however. It would be best if we are not frequently seen in each other's companies. Yeah, let me see your special reserves. Yeah, but you don't have anything for me. Dark side, though. I have that. So that's it. I think. Welcome back. Yep. What about your brother? Does your brother love me? Hey. Welcome back. Hmm. Well, I guess. I guess that's it. So, that concludes, or should conclude, the mission that I was in. And I think it does. Let's go. Yeah. Basically, it's another way of solving the mission that I was sent on to find the smuggling thing. So. Now to focus on Batono, who is not Baturem. This is a different person. He's not the one that attacked me, or supposedly attacked me. So, Dol Gren's friend, Batono, has vanished. He used to oversee Zerka docking operations and is needed to testify to the Telosian Council. So I probably need to go to Zerka. Juros. This is Docking Bay 3. If you have no business here, please be on your way. Yeah, I'd like some information about a passenger that came through here. I'm sorry, but I can't release that data for you. The confidentiality of travelers who come through our bay is one of our primary concerns. Huh, how nice. In the future, they care about your data. Don't worry, I'll be discreet with my inquiries. The killer is dead, anyways. Perhaps. Even so, it will incur some expenses for me to find the information you seek. How much... Would this expense be? I believe 25 credits would be sufficient. Okay, excellent. Now, let me just bring up the passenger manifests. What was the passenger's name? Baturem. Very good, yes, here it is. His departure destination was Nar Shaddai. He was scheduled to return on a shuttle that has already departed. That's all the information I have. In our business, the less information we gather, the less we have to give out. Our passengers are doubly protected. Okay, I'll be going now. Hmm. So I'm not going in there. This is a private docking bay owned and operated by Zerker Corporation. Unless you have business here, please move along. Yeah, I'm looking for a man named Batono. Doesn't sound familiar. Your best bet is to direct your inquiries to Jana Lorso. You can find her at the Zerka offices in the residential module 082. You can tell me what you know, or I can hurt you, and then you will tell me what you know. All right, all right, I know what he, that he worked for Zerka, but that's all. You have to believe me. Talk to Lorso. If anyone knows more, it's her. Hmm. And you still won't let me in. Well. Some more clues. Hey, Janna. Welcome back. It has been a while. Does the name Batono mean anything to you? Batono? Of course. He was one of our former employees. Let me tell you something. There are far too many like him. Do-gooders who believe that because of the things Zerka must do to remain successful and profitable, we must be evil. They do not see the impracticality of their beliefs. They do not understand the realities of the galaxy. If certain funds must be paid, then Zerka will gladly pay. If competitors removed, then Zerka will do its part to forward progress. Batono could not see this. 
Before leaving our employ, he stole many of our records, then began to stalk our movements on the station. Harassment, but conveniently overlooked, sanctioned, perhaps, by the Telosian authorities. Well, he could see it. He, and Zerka is evil, but it has to be evil, because you, you gave the arguments. He could not see it. She said, we, are, we do all the evil stuff. He could not see it. No, he, he did. That's why he did what he did. But we must be evil because of what you said, the reasons. Um, the For sure. Uh, the, he's gone missing. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I'm curious, though, as to why you are looking for him. Uh, yeah, because Grena of the, and the TSF are looking for him. Oh. Gren did say that he was asked not to look into him, so I shouldn't say this. My, my reasons are my own. I see. Well, I suspect he's putting his nose into something or another. People like him can't mind their own business, always needing to pry into matters that don't concern them. I do know he spent some time in the company of the Athorians. I assumed that was the reason for his efforts, that he thought by inventing stories of Zerka's evil, he could put Chodo Habat and his incapable assistants in charge. But if you are searching for him, and find him, there would be a reward for any information of his whereabouts. A reward? I would be happy to have him out of Zerka's hair. He's been hard to track down. So yes, a reward would be offered. How much? 200 credits. And the thanks of Zerka Corporation. How would you put an end to his investigation? Silence his lies and fabricated untruths. His slanderous accusations are a needless trouble atop a great many troubles this planet faces. How would you convince him to abandon his investigation, then? If credits are what he wants, then Zerka will pay him for an easy settlement of this situation. Otherwise, Zerka will be forced into a lengthy petition process with the Telosian Council. I will tell you if I find him. Excellent. Zerka will be glad to be free of his baseless accusations and rumor-mongering. Mm-hmm. These people were not T-posing, don't worry. They were just stretching. They, tr they stretch in a T-pose. So now we need to go to the Thorian compound, which is right next door. Thorian compound. Hmm. Do I need to talk to the greeter? Or... To the boss. Choro Habat. I do not mean to be rude, but you have done more harm to my herd and this planet than you could possibly imagine. We will not force you to leave, but your presence greatly angers some of the others, and it fills me with sadness. Good, good. Do you know anything about an, a man named Batono? Uh, Batono, I'm sorry to admit that uh, name is unfamiliar to me. I must admit I have little interaction with the other residents of this area, however. Oh. I thought you might know him, given his dislike of Zerka. If it is true that he has no friend of Zerka, that he is no friend of Zerka, I wish it were true that I knew of him. But alas, I do not. I am sorry I cannot be more helpful. Magelfa, Magelfa. Are you sure? Lorsa mentioned that he spent time here in the compound. It would not be the first time Lorsa was mistaken. I assure you, I have never known of a man named Batono to spend time in our compound here. Yeah, I'm looking for him on behalf of Lieutenant Gren. If I can locate him, it might prove the end of Zerka. Oh, I believe what you say is true, and it gladdens me to hear that it is Lieutenant Gren who is searching for him. I am sorry that I spoke untruth to you before. I'd lied. Indeed, I do know of Batono, and I know where he can be found. But even so, you must promise me that you will tell no one about this, not even Lieutenant Gren, without Batono's permission. Of course, Choro, Batono's secret is safe with me. Very good. You see, Batono came to us for protection, and we found him an apartment where he could hide. Our security technicians ensured that he would not be found by Zerka's security div division. You will find him in apartment C1 in the eastern portion of the residential module. I will give you the passkey to enter. Give him my apologies for revealing his hiding place and my explanations. I hope he will not be too angry. I'll be going now. And I'll be going to kill him. <laughs> you see, I lied. Dark side. I was gonna say, this game, the light side and the dark side really makes it... it well, it doesn't make it obvious that... It, it, it's not... How should I put it? It doesn't mean that 
all light side is good and all dark side is evil from an a interpretation standpoint. But from an in-world understanding of how things go, those words do, light side and dark side do mean the same thing. The problem is lying is evil. That's what I did there. I lied. Evil. Dark side. Now you smell of roses. And so, not only is it, not only is Zerka evil, because they're dark side, but also my lie is also evil, because it was dark side. C1. What the? Hmm. You're not CSD. What are you doing here? You're Batono, right? What? No, you must be mistaken. You're probably looking for a previous tenant or a neighbor. Maybe I should just report you to Zerka. Let them sort you out. No. Wait, you can't tell Zerka where I am. They'll kill me for sure. Doesn't matter to me. It only matters that I get paid. Lord Sword Grand, take your bit. Fine, then. Here's 500 credits. Take them and forget you ever met me. And if Gren really did send you, tell him thanks. Stay here. I'll go to Gren and have him make arrangements. Don't be too surprised if I'm not here when you get back. Huh. That's a bad thing. You're back. Are you ready to get going? No, I've decided to kill you and see how much Lorsa will pay for me instead. You wouldn't dare. No, I, I would. What good are credits if you aren't around to spend them? <laughs> Let's see how many Fort Storms is going to survive. Ha! <laughs> 25 experience. <laughs> oh, 25 experience. Ooh, credits. Welcome back. Yes, Batona is taken care of. Truly? I hadn't heard that from any of the searches in my employment. That's because I killed him. Hmm, that was very proactive of you. In that case, let me thank you for taking care of that unpleasantness for me. I'm in your debt. And of course, here is your payment. Zerka Corporation thanks you for your assistance. 200 credits. Cheapskates. That's the moral of the story, really. At the end of the day, it's that these people, they pay for nothing. It's terrible. Now, we have the other person, the assassin that was disguised to try to kill me. Now, this is in Telos. He came to the TSF station by way of Narshada. Do we need to go to Narshada for that? Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do that. Cause the lieutenant said something about that specifically. So you've returned. I have. I'm here to talk about the bounties. What is it? I found some information about Batu Rem. The real Batu Rem or the assassin Batu Rem? Hmm. The the assassin Batu Rem? Oh, what is it? He arrived from Narshada aboard an unmarked transport in Docking Bay 3. Docking Bay 3. More suspicious activity from Zerka's private dock. If only we had something more concrete, I could launch a full-scale investigation. But Narshada? Sounds like you've made some powerful enemies. Here's the reward for the information. And if you find out anything else about Batu, real or fake, let me know. Yeah, can I talk to about that more? What is it? Never mind. So I got an... Armor ply plating mark four, which I believe that is level scaled. It's gotta be. It's way too high level for an early level mission or er early game mission. And now we only have these two. This one I think it's bugged because it's the champ and the champ doesn't say anything. And this one in here, it's. I think I can't complete it because I sided with the the criminals there. So basically, we're going to the next planet. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's get out of the planet then. Aten. And we are going to Onderon. It's a forest. Obviously.
what's going on? Well, this is Onderon. It looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. We've taken some hits. We can try to fight back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. Um. Nah, we can. We. I'll. I'll. I'll crew the turret. Uh, just keep her steady. Shooting time. Oh! Oh no, this is much more involved than in the first game. Well, I'll say much more involved. A little bit more involved. Oh, I can look back! Dude, aim down! Okay, we did it. Oof. Thank God for G502. I can't keep us in one piece much longer. Sorry to spoil your fun, but we've got to land now. I'm going to put us down on that jungle moon. You know, just once I wish someone was glad to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. Atten, you're, you always crash land on everything we land on. You almost crash landed on Corriban and nobody was there. I mean, it looked like it. The cutscene was very dramatic. <sighs> How badly is the ship damaged? It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Any idea where we are? Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. What now? Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just going to forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. We need to get to Onderon. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... Something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. 
Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. Let's head to the outpost then. Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. She fought here once, and there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget? <laughs> what a line, Kreia. What a line. That was really good. Uh, do you want that? Yes, I want that. Yes. It is thunder. Oh, it's lovely as well. It's also bugged. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. I, lo I love the I love the look. Old school forest is just I, I love that aesthetic. Oh, I can't select him. That's kind of a shame. I wanted to select him because I wanted to see if he still has that pistol. I love the aesthetic of old school forest. It's just perfectly bad. Like it is it is good, but also bad. Wait. How did I just level up? Uh, we probably have a message about that. No, we do not. Oh, huh. did I miss that somehow? And, and either way, we have skills that we must improve. Can't improve awareness because that bonus really doesn't mean much. And I'm going to continue going up on computer use because I want to see what I can do to T3, M3. Or M4 or whatever the number is. And we have powers. I think it might be time to consider the burst of speed because it does add to defense so by itself is already good but I'll probably need those two later and that's it that's my level what is this it's a canock of course you know canocks but why is it going up these are not big, nasty creatures. It's just a weird fog. Also, where are my lightsabers? Why don't I have my lightsabers? How dare you. I didn't notice that before. I don't know why. Either way. I don't know why that cutscene was a cutscene. Oh, do they not like that particular animal over there? I think they might, might not like like that particular animal. It's a Malrash. 275 experience is what it is. There's more of them up there. As well as... A droid? Oh, it's a Canock. Oh, the Canuck is closer by. I've got some news. The space battle is still going on. The Hawk's sensors just picked up a contact heading to the moon. Most of the ship's systems are powered down, so it's about all I got. That ship may have landed nearby, though. Or it may be on the other side of the moon. So you might want to prepare for another friendly Onderon welcome. Ah, right, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. We got this under control. 